Welcome to another devlog for Sterbin. This is update 12, 13, 21. I just wanted to mention right off the bat that I made public the Pinterest page that I have for the game. Uh, just so those that are interested can get a feel for the theme and see what I'm using for references during the development. And anyway, let's get on with the more interesting things. I managed to do a little bit of work with the AI since my last update. Um, they engage each other a little bit better and um, they'll hide and they'll seek. Um, you can see there's a little bit of a battle going on here. Um, they, I guess there's not really a whole lot much to say. Um, haven't had a huge chance to interact with them in like open world gameplay sense. There is some AI optimization that I had to make sure it was taken care of, um, and I'm glad that I got that squared away, because with the open world there is potentially going to be a lot of AI on the screen, um, especially with zombies and battles breaking out. And speaking of zombies, um, I managed to get zombies working better. Um, there's still an issue where they'll run up to you and they'll swing at you, but they won't hurt you. Um, so I've been trying to get that figured out. I believe that it just has something to do with the collision. Um, but overall, I'm pretty happy with how they work. Uh, might change up some of the animation a little bit, but I like how they're turning out. The next thing I put some work into was being able to change the beard color and the eye shape and the mouth shape. And I got a pretty good foundation with the character editor. I think I'm done with working with it for now. Um, there are more important things to work on. Um, there's a super solid foundation for it. Um, in the future, I would like to have things like uh, scars and tattoos be able to be added, um, potentially different types of limbs, like you could have a cybernetic limb or something. Um, all of that capability is totally there on the back end. So I've set it up so it's super easy to add. Um, it's just the matter of going and doing it. So later down the road, have the time, just got to do it. I'm super excited and happy with how this has all finally come together. I would say that getting the character editor to its current state to where I can then further add upon it was one of the biggest accomplishments I've had for this game, and it will really make the game stand out. Uh, come the uh, final or final product once it gets released out into the wild. And now I'll show some work that I've done with the buildings this week. Uh, I've made it so that you can go under them and it'll be like a little bit of a transparency effect on some. Some will just go completely blank. Um, that was sort of already there, but I just improved it a little bit. Um, it is done a little bit more efficient than it was. Um, there is still the weird issue where uh, if you're on the bottom floor, everything above you is still visible except for the building. Um, so that's been my... That's on my to-do list. Uh, that's probably what I'm going to be working on next. Um, definitely one of my biggest challenges for this game is being able to do that not only in a way that makes sense on the back end but also looks pleasant to the user and um, also in addition to all that replicates uh, over a network so definitely a big challenge the end goal is to be able to have the player enter a building like this be able to go through all floors collect any item and not see 
anyone above them. Just going to showcase some of the other buildings that I worked on this week. Next, I'm just going to show off these vehicles. I've actually had these vehicles as drivable for quite some time. Um, the only difference is that I did do some work with the physics this week. Um, physics is super off on them still, but it's a lot better. And something that I really need to improve on these is getting the tires so they rotate. And that is actually part of the problem. And another thing that I would like to add in here is getting uh, vehicles so they apply impact damage. So vehicle runs into player, player takes damage. Um, that's also going to be, probably be further down the line. Well, that's all I'm showing off this week. Um, my next update is going to actually be on New Year's Day. That's a Saturday instead of a Monday. I'm going to change the rotation that I'm doing. Um, it just makes more sense with my life schedule. Uh, it's easier to have that timeline with stuff that I have going on in my day to day. Um, so, uh, well, I gotta go. There's lots of work left on the game. More on the way that I'm really excited to share with you. If you're not subscribed already, please do it like the video. I'll see you next time. Bye.